So as I'm going about doing my day-to-day -day work with a client, I keep a little black book. This book right here has made me millions of dollars. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Boyd Clewis, the Six Figure Tech Career Coach, and I help people end the cycle of financial poverty by becoming Six Figure Cybersecurity Specialists. If you wanna join me on this journey, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the red bell so that you're notified whenever I drop new content guaranteed to take your career to six figures and beyond. All right, Cyber Heroes, let's jump in. It's really important that you understand this message, guys. This is probably one of the most important videos that I have ever done right? It wouldn't make sense if I just jumped to the end and told you exactly what to do without giving you the context of why this is super important. With that being said, you guessed it, story time, okay? So let me take you back to about, I don't know, 2011-ish, back when I was skinny boyed doing IT work. I started this company that was called Autex Solution, A-W-E-T-E-K-S. Autex meaning awesome text because I was awesome. But nah, I was not, I was not. At the time that I started Autec Solutions, I was working for a MSP company, managed service provider, that was doing the same exact thing. So I had this bright idea that I could start this company and do the same thing since I was already doing the tech work and be my own boss. So I ended up landing a client, man, and this was a really good client. We established an agreement that is referred to in the consulting world as a SOW, S-O-W, that is a statement of work. It's the contract that shows my responsibility, customer responsibility, and the amount of money that they're gonna pay me for the service. So I ended up getting a 12 month contract with a company that, that worked in the construction industry and they had multiple offices. I convinced them to pay me in advance for the year. So I'm like, yo, we are rolling in the dough, right? I'm gonna be supporting these two offices for this construction company. We have servers, we have users, we have desktops and things that we're supporting and all that's gonna be run through my company. And of course they paid me for the year up front because you know, I'm a decent sales guy and whatnot. And I was like, yes, we got the bag. I'm about to get this thing on and pop it. I am my own boss. So what I do is I quit my job at the other MSP company and I go full time with my company Autech Solutions. I go get a brand new office set up, brand new website, new computer equipment for me. And I'm like, yo, this is really, really good. I'm like, legitimate. I got client, I got money. This was great. This was absolutely great. A couple months into this deal, things are going very, very well with the client. Their systems are up and running. I'm responding to their phone calls, their support tickets in a timely fashion. So they are extremely happy. You know, I see things that are coming up and I'm fixing them and they think I'm like the world's best tech and so do I. But you know, all that sounds good, but it actually lead it to the biggest problem that I actually ended up having. So first of all, the company had a pretty significant amount of issues that I was able to fix, but because I was the only person running the company at Autex, I did not have the opportunity to go out and create new business and sell to others. So I literally quit my job to serve one client wholeheartedly. And at the time, again, while I'm going through this, I'm not considering these things at all. I'm just like, man, business is going good. Cause again, I got funded for the entire year up front for this agreement that we made. We get down to the end of the year and it's time to renew the contract and the company decides not to renew. They did not renew. And so I'm having a conversation with them. I'm like, hey, what's going on? I thought we had a really good thing going on. I fixed all of the issues that you had. You know, I'm sort of responding giving you guys great customer service, like why are you not renewing? And what they told me is, Boyd, you have done such a great job over the past year that we don't have any issues anymore. So we can't even justify the expense. And I was like, dude, that was like a gut punch. Cause remember, I quit my full-time job to start this company 
I have this client, I have this office, so I have expenses, and now my only client has walked away. I'm like, holy crap, what do I do? That's when it hit me, guys, it hit me. After talking to some of my friends, what I was experiencing was not anything new in the tech industry. They brought me on not to be a partner, but to bring a project to an end. It's no fault of them. This, the whole responsibility for this thing going south was actually me. And I'm gonna explain this. If you have been in the position where you've worked on contracts and then they've ended, and then you're stuck like, what do I do now? Because a contract ended, now you need another contract. Here's why. You did exactly what I did. You literally worked yourself out of a job. So before I tell you what to do, let me first tell you what I'm not telling you to do. I'm not telling you to sabotage your clients. I'm not telling you to create bugs. I'm not trying to tell you to break things to keep yourself relevant. But here's what you have to do. Don't think like an IT guy. Think like a business technology professional. So let me show you what I did moving forward. Fast forward eight years later, I'm working in my current business, Baxter Clues, cybersecurity, and I've learned from this, and now I'm a successful consultant billing millions of dollars. When I get brought on for a project with a client, I deliver service at the highest level possible to address everything that is inside of that sal, that statement of work. But there's one thing that I do completely differently now than what I used to. So as I'm going about doing my day-to-day -day work with a client, I keep a little black book. This book right here has made me millions of dollars. Do you hear me? And I'm about to explain why. By the way, before I go into it, this is a great time to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I drop new content, because I'm about to blow your mind. This book right here has made me millions. So as I'm going through my work with the client, I'm performing, again, the duties based on the statement of work. I am keeping my ears and my eyes open. So I see things that are being done inefficiently, could be done better, or present a specific risk to the organization based on the industry that they're in and how they operate. And I notate these things in my book. So when it's time for my current contract to end, instead of shaking hands and walking away, I send an email invitation for a meeting. And with this meeting, what I do is I walk my clients through, number one, what we've done, right? Because I'm gonna show them the value that I've already brought them. So they're like, man, we got our money's worth. And then number two, I'm gonna show them the risk that I have identified while I've been working with them. And this is where it gets good right here. Since I've already showed them that I can bring value, I had the expertise to identify the issues. Then number three, I hit them with the ask. You know, since I already have access to the systems in their network, and I've been here and we've, we've built this great relationship, I am open to helping you solve these challenges because I've actually thought through some plans that would fit right in line with your business model that we could use to address these. So now, based on that, I think it'll probably take you know, four to five months to get this done. I could have a statement of work for this work over to you in the next seven days. Boom, just like that, I've created a new statement of work based on things that I've identified instead of just seeing those things and fixing them immediately. When you are working as a consultant, stay focused on what you're called to do, but be identifying other things that you could do, but resist the tech guy, resist the IT guy urge to fix things. You will literally fix things and work your way out of a job. Do not do it. And once I started implementing that approach, Oh my goodness, my relationships with my clients changed and so did my income because I wasn't looking for new clients. I was monetizing the ones that I already had. Isn't that good? That is good. So guys, that is what you need to do. Do not work yourself out of a job. Look for opportunities to add value. Present those opportunities in a easy to understand approach of how you're going to serve your client and you will make more money than you ever believe, than you ever thought. And there's nothing wrong with that. But also, if you are not even like if this just seems so foreign to you and you're not even sure how to start this, this is the opportunity I have for you. I invite you 
to apply to join the Baxter Clueless Training Academy because these are some of the things that we talk about inside of the academy. It's not just about tech, it's about business, it's about finance, it's how to leverage your skills to create the life of your dreams. So you can become a six-figure tech specialist in as little as 90 days, spend 12 months getting the coaching and the mentorship and the guidance to accelerate your career to heights that you never imagined. And you can learn directly from the man, me. I would love to mentor you. All you have to do is click the link in the description or go over to www.boydclewis.com forward slash GRC. Check out our case study, then apply. We have a 29% acceptance rate to the academy because we want to work with people that take personal responsibility for their goals, they're action oriented, and they're ready to get this done today. If that's you, click the link. If it's not, please do not. All right. So guys, again, that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Have you ever worked yourself out of a job? Were you looking for a contract right when the other one ended? Let me know, I'm interested to hear from you. That's it for this one. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.